everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, it's Cindy. Um, somebody wanted to know how to make the Harry Potter wands. Let me tell you, it's very, very simple. Um, first thing you're going to need is some chopsticks. I went to Walmart and I got a bag of, <coughs> pardon me, 24 for like $1.97, I think it was. You're going to need a hot glue gun, which I have sitting here off to the side. Oops, and I just flung some glue. Um, if you're going to have kids do these, just be really careful because the glue, again, is hot. It's a hot glue gun. And basically what we did is you can do this any way you want. You can add the glue however. But what we did is we just played around with the glue. We did some with rings around them. Um, we did some with, oh, dots. We, we just, we played with it. And then you're going to, of course, you're going to have to let your glue dry. Now I'm going to do the top and I'm just going to go like these. Whoops. See, I'm shaking. My hand is shaking. My hands shake really bad lately. Okay. I am just going to give it a little bit more than what we got on the bottom. Like I said, if you're going to do this with kids, um, just beware. This glue is hot. I burnt myself quite a bit yesterday. We did like 24 of these yesterday. And the reason we did so many is um, she's, it's for a baby shower. So basically what I'm doing is I'm letting the glue... Um, see, it, this part is pretty well dry or pretty well set up, cooled down. I don't want that there, so I'm just going to manipulate it with the glue gun. All right, so then we take these and set them aside, let them dry. I'm going to do a couple more so I can just show you. Oh, I can sit them here. Sit. All right, I just stood it up in my box of glue sticks. So, again, you can do these however, <laughs> however you want. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> String of glue is driving me crazy. Um, we did a bunch of them yesterday, and we just did them... We just played yeah, another glue stick. Do, do, do. I mean, you're you're not looking really for anything special um, as far as the glue. You're just you're playing. Um, I'm just gonna do it like this. Let's move that up. I don't know if you can see really what I'm doing, but I'm just, I'm putting down some glue and then playing with it with the actual tip of the glue gun. You don't have to cover up the whole chopstick. Um, all you're doing pretty much is making a texture on the chopstick. You don't have to do it all the way to the bottom. You can. This is all open to interpretation. It's however you want to do it. So I'm just going to let this one dry a little bit. Enough so I can sit it down. Alright, while that one's drying, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm just going to do one more. Do, 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 do. This is fun. And my son come down. He's like, Mom, can we make Harry, Water Pot Harry Potter wands? Sure. I think he found this on Pinterest. And it's so simple. They have, um, there's a couple steps on Pinterest that we did not do. And I, you know, um, I'll tell you about them as we get closer to those steps. But um, these are just fun. But like I said, if you're going to do these with little kids, just be careful because it is a hot glue gun. And it is hot. 
If you have any of these strings, you want to take these strings off because when you start to paint them, they're a pain in the butt. Um, once your glue gets so it starts getting cloudy, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference there, but once it starts getting cloudy, then it's not quite so bad. All right, that's got to dry. This one has to dry. All right, I'm going to let these dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. Be right back. Okay, now I'm going back to the first. This is the first one I did. Um, what you're going to need is some type of a brown paint. I'm using burnt umber just because that's what we used yesterday. And there's not much left in it, so I might as well use it up. Oh, there's some in it. Okay. So I'm using brown umber. And you're just going to take a brush, and you're just going to paint. Paint the whole thing. Now, like I said, you can use any color you want. You can use, you know, purple, blue, gold, whatever you want to use. And you're just going to paint the whole thing. Do, 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 do. These are so cool. I was like, these are so neat. side by side so I can set them across it. I know I'm out of frame there but I was just touching up. Touching up. This one. Paint this one. And you're going to let that paint dry. Oops. Get back here you. This burnt umber is a Smells funny. Schmears. See, that's why you don't want those. Uh, see it right there? That's why you don't want those uh, strings, the hot glue strings. And it takes a little bit to get in all the, you know, valleys and crevices where you didn't glue gun. Why we didn't go all the way to the bottom, we just didn't. Missed a couple spots. So just do your touch up when you see where you missed. A couple spots here and there. Here, I'll bring these over here so you can see. So I'm just keeping an eye on. Do -do. <laughs> I was saying they look like um when we first started doing them they looked like uh, chocolate covered pretzels. See there's a piece that right in there I'd missed. Okay. And the third one. These are fun! Harry Potter. I don't know what the my son was saying the thing that they said when they blew stuff up Levioso or something yesterday I don't know what it is but so very simple like I said they found this on Pinterest I don't know who the original person is that created these but thank you very much we had a lot of fun doing them and now I'm gonna have three more <laughs> <coughs> pardon me that's where my hands are on the glue all right I'm gonna let these dry and we'll be back all right, so once they're pretty well, well, once they're dry, I think these are pretty well dry. I, I cheated a little bit. I used a, um, my dryer on them. But what you do is you take a little bit of gold paint. Um, this is just Reeves Acrylic Gold. I also have silver here. We did it with an, it's an outdoor silver. Um, and there's bronze. So you could, like I said, you can do this with any color. And then what we did is we just added the color to the raised parts. And 
and of course the end. I got homemade spaghetti sauce in the crock pot. Dang, it smells good. I'm starting to get hunger. Okay, so. Look at that. Ta-da! And, how come, you know what? There's not a lot of glue on that side. That's okay. No worries. These are just so I could show you guys how to do them. Um, you know, these aren't going to be used for anything, so. And like I said, we just... Oops, I'm using the gold again. I was going to do one in silver and one in bronze for you. Sorry, we'll get one in silver, but this one's going to be gold. And I'm just really, really lightly doing this. So all it's doing is it's picking up the glue. Okay. All right. I'll do one. Or yeah, the glue. Yeah, picking up the glue. I'll do one in silver. This last one in silver. So, you know, it really depends on what look you're going for. Um... And again, I don't see a reason why you couldn't do these like, um, you know, pink with a purple accent or, you know, whatever. They're just kind of cool. So there's the silver. And voila, you have a Harry Potter wand. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun. We had fun making them yesterday. And these I'll give to my granddaughter and say, here you go, have fun playing. So as always, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about. And happy creating, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.